For all you know, he probably still thinks we're dating. 20 years. Yeah. So I bought a set of like 24 nail polish polish <laughs> nail polishes and you can also do three colors. Just that whoops whoops. Okay, that was not intended. Um kind of go on Google and be like, why are they bubbles? Why why <laughs> why are there bubbles and everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing super super awesome for those of you who are new i am the marketing nomad my name is prit so today i've actually got something interesting for you well i probably do have it every week but you know uh today i actually have to do my nails it is kind of my dedicated self-care time for the day so i decided i was going to do my nails today i haven't done them in quite some time so I thought that okay I would take you guys along this journey with me of me doing my nails and I thought I would also share a story with you and give you guys a couple of life updates that have been happening in my life as well so I'm all set I'm gonna take you guys and then we're gonna I don't know today I kind of am feeling like doing an ombre style nail art sort of thing. I used to do nail art a lot when I was studying during my MBA and you know even when I was working but not so much when I was working and after coming here I feel like I <laughs> have not exactly done as much nail art as I would like to. I really like it. It's kind of fun for me. It takes a lot of patience um, but I really want to get back into doing pretty nail art for myself. I would just put nail polish and you know give an accent nail but today I really want to do something different and I want to give it an ombre nail color. I'm thinking orange or blue, I mean orange and blue the color combination or orange and pink. So I haven't yet to decide that so we're gonna go downstairs. I just finished my walk for the day uh, upstairs and I finished drying my hair as well. So we're gonna go down and I'm gonna set up the table and we're gonna chit chat for a bit as I do my nails today. It's not gonna be a tutorial but you know I'll give you guys some nail tips that I do have when, in whatever little capacity that um, I know as a hobbyist nail artist. I hope, I hope that's something people say. Anyway guys, I'll take you guys down, okay? Give me a second. Hey guys, what's up everyone? We are back now. Let me give you guys a quick run through about what is on my table and then we can get started. So I obviously have some paper um, so that I can clip my nails on this and just throw it once it's done. And then I have my nail filer. I have the transparent coat that I put on top later. So we're going to put that there. And then so this is S H A N Y. I don't know if you guys can see. So I bought a set of like 24 nail polish polish <laughs> nail polishes and uh, I think it's been two years and they're still working really well. I have finished white, I have finished black, uh, and I'm hoping to finish all the other colors as well. 
and hopefully buy a new set once I'm done with that. So hold on guys, the fans suddenly decided to just move to full speed. Okay, back. So where was I? Okay, so I have orange and I have blue. I'm gonna do an ombre of these two and I'll show you guys in a little bit and then this one's flying all over the place so let's just put that there. And then this one is just an off-brand nail enamel remover. I usually use Lacme but I just couldn't find it right now so we're gonna go with this. Okay, I'm not sure how it works though. So fingers crossed on that. And then I have these two, I guess I would call them blenders slash sponge, I guess. Um, they help with the ombre. So I'm also going to teach you guys how to do the ombre in case you guys were wondering how to do it. I used to do ombres a lot during my MBA. I personally love it. And, you know, just mixing in different colors. Today I'm going to do a two color ombre, but you can also do three colors. Just that, whoops, whoops. Okay. That was not intended. Um. Just that. Oops, oops. But just that my nails are a little smaller, so I just personally like to do only two. Three makes it look a lot smaller than it is. So that's basically it. And then I obviously have a nail cutter, and then I have a cloth. Um, I will be washing my hands after I file my nails. It's just something that I do. And then I have cream. I put cream after I wash my nails. It's just something I do so that it becomes smooth, I guess. Okay, but you know, we'll do it as it comes. And then I have water just over there. And then I have a bunch of cotton for, you know, removing the stuff that will come outside. And we'll go over this, guys. It's just going to be... Stuff. and then I have my notebook where I've written my script for today so in between you know I'll be going in and checking in if I'm telling you guys everything that I need to tell you guys okay so full disclosure right over there so let's get started like I told you guys it's just gonna be me with story time and then not just story time but I also wanted to give you guys a couple of life updates as well so we're just gonna kind of do some gossip chit chat sort of thing right now okay Okay, so I'm going to start cutting my nails, and this is pretty basic, guys. So um, I'm just going to keep clipping as I keep talking to you. I personally don't like them too long, just that it interferes with my cooking. And um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of long nails. And I hate that the color kind of goes in, and it just looks weird after. So I personally don't keep it too long. Probably like just a little bit of that white color part that is seen. Um, not a nail expert, guys, just telling you guys. So, a couple of life updates first before I get into story time. Now, when I turned 28 last year, I actually decided that my resolution for my 28th year was going to be self-love, okay? And that journey has been pretty intense and I don't know, I'm really proud to say that I've been keeping up with my resolution and a huge part of, you know, self-love um, kind of, I wouldn't say pertains to self-care. I mean, there's a lot that goes on with self-love and stuff like that. Um, a lot of work that needs to be done on my end and the, a lot of work that I have been doing. But um, a huge part of me starting out this self-love journey was to make sure that I was taking care of myself physically and mentally and emotionally as well. So it was only this year that I, you know, started to intentionally set out time for self-care activities and doing my nails is one of them. And it just doesn't pertain to, you know, just doing my nails. It's also, you know, taking the time to read a book, taking the time to journal my thoughts or to track whatever it is that I'm doing in a day, track my mood, track my stress, track my sleep, and then what else, guys? Taking those extra few minutes to air dry my hair instead of, you know, hair drying it with a hair dryer just so that, you know, I can um, maximize uh, nourishing my hair instead of I would say using heat and stuff like that. I actually haven't used a hair dryer 
in about two years now. I, I'm pretty proud of that as well. I always just go out in the sun or just go outside, get the towel and just dry my hair. I can definitely feel the difference. Like whenever I do put heat on my hair, it kind of goes a little wonky. <laughs> it doesn't like it. It's pretty clear. It makes it pretty clear that it doesn't like heat. So in the last two years, I've been air drying my hair. So I just go upstairs and just uh, dry my hair. And it has been like, you can actually see the difference in my hair. It looks healthier. It shines better. It's more bouncy. And overall, I can feel that my hair is happy. And if my hair is happy, then, well, I'm happy, right? So not just that and then taking some time to just be with myself you know i think that people get so afraid of just being alone with yourself with your thoughts that they constantly try to put people around them or they constantly try to keep themselves busy but i in the past year because of my resolution have kind of made it a point to spend time with myself just be by myself with my thoughts thinking, maybe walking around if I have to, uh, spending time in the sun just so that I can get that energy as well as, you know, refill on my vitamin D and stuff like that. So yeah, basically what I was trying to say with this small monologue is that a huge part of my self-care has been very, very intentional. I have made sure that you know, whoops, that was. <laughs> I have made sure that, you know, it is a part of my routine. It is a, I have actually scheduled it on my calendar because when I first started out, I would just say, oh, yeah, yeah, this week I'm just gonna do uh, my hair care and skincare and then nail care, and then I would just never get to it because there would be something or the other stopping me. So, I started scheduling it on my Google Calendar. Yes, it comes under personal, but it is still there on my calendar. And I realized that nine out of 10 times, I actually do it because it's on my calendar. So now guys, I finished with my nail cutting. Um, I'm just gonna file it, okay? So I'm talk to you as I file it. It's basic stuff, guys. This is nothing, um, uh, what is that? Extraordinary or something like that. So yeah, where was I? So I was talking about intentionally putting it. I don't know if this might be a tip for you guys, but just scheduling it on your calendar saying, I need to set time for my nails. I need to set time for my hair. It has actually done me wonders. Before, you know, I personally have like a hair care routine and it takes quite some time to get my hair care routine done. And by not scheduling it, I realized that I was skimping out on it because I was just doing everything hurriedly. But by dedicating like one and a half hours for just your hair or one hour for just your nails, one hour for your skin every single day or every two days or every three days, whatever your, you know, suits your schedule, I realized that, you know, I was making it a point to myself that, hey, I gotta do this. I have to include this in my regime no matter what. And because it was on my calendar, I would just do it. So if you guys are struggling with, you know, having a self-care routine or you guys feel like, you know, you never get things done, I would recommend putting it on your calendar. Whatever calendar you use for work, just put a separate, you know, segment that says personal and add in these things. Hold on. There's just one chump who's not coming out. It's just, it's just like... I'm just gonna be there kind of thing <laughs> okay he's out okay okay and then what else so yeah basically this year has been very intentional uh, with respect to self-love and I know people say oh my god self-love is such a beautiful journey uh, <laughs> I actually disagree I mean it has been so painful guys it has been so painful just even analyzing that there are so many moments in my life that I don't truly love myself has been quite the shock, eh? And it has also been eye-opening uh, in a lot of ways. And it's about digging into your old wounds, seeing why they're there, which is pretty, pretty brutal in itself, to be honest with you. And then working on it and making sure that, hey, you know, uh, it's... It's something that I need to work on and then move forward with it. So 
like I said, it's been pretty intense, but I'm really happy with my progress, uh, especially when I do resolutions for the year. I never stick to it uh, because it's just, you know, I mean, it's resolutions. Who sticks to them? But <laughs> this time, because I think it was so important to me, I think basically whatever is important to you, you do make time for it. Um, because my personal growth and self-care, self-love was so important to me, I actually have been dedicating time to that. So I guess I would say yes, very proud of this journey so far. And it has helped me a lot with my business as well. I mean, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, I feel that time just flies. And, you know, because there is no specific demarcation of the time slots that you work and you don't work, I feel that very easily my work actually slips into my personal time and just being a little bit more intentional about that has helped me with segregating okay this is my business time this is my time this is my family time okay and i don't mix any of the three uh, with each other whatever is my time is not something that i will compromise on whatever is my family time is not something that i would compromise on and whatever is you know my business time again not going to be involving different things into that as well so it's going to be like each of these segments in my life has 100 percent of my attention if i can say okay so i think i'm sort of done with my nails in terms of the filing except there's this one guy who's just a little weird yeah guys if you see me using the wrong technique or anything let me tell you not a professional i'm just doing whatever i know and watch from youtube tutorials or just whatever works with my nails to be honest with you because they have a mind of their own okay so we have that and then yeah another reason why i don't keep long fingernails is i just end up breaking them and it's not because my nails are weak or anything it's just i just am so careless with them i'm just like hitting them everywhere and i always like break and then it hurts so much so as much as possible, I try to keep my nails a little shorter than most people would. Okay, so I'm sort of done. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're sort of okay. <laughs> I'm going to start, but so the thing is, I kind of don't like all these, like the filing, I guess I would say, filings, whatever they are called. So I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to use this cloth over here and just wipe them and then i'm gonna put this so give me a second guys i'm just gonna go and come back. and yeah i think i'll throw this as well because we don't need them okay let me just wipe off my hands just... okay so where was i yeah so basically my whole nail care Thing is part of my routine as well uh, I make sure that it is on my calendar so that I'm like okay you know I'm doing this kind of thing um, and I don't miss out on it okay guys so now I'm just going to get started Woo! okay so first off my hands are a little dry and they're just generally a little dry I guess I would say so I usually just put a little bit of cream and um, just Make sure that I kind of focus on the nails a little bit and just kind of make them a little nice and uh, I guess I would say not wrinkly <laughs> nor, you know, too dry and stuff like that. So I just spend about a minute trying to just, you know, make sure that they're all nice and um, kind of moistured up, I guess I would say. So. They look a little better to me. I don't know if people do this, but it just helps me um, in terms of how my nail looks to myself. And I'll just be doing one hand. I don't put on my right side. It's just how I've always done it. I don't put it because, well, I'm an Indian. I eat with my right hand and I know a lot of other Indians do put on their right hand, but it's just, it's a little weird to me because, <laughs> you know, I'm mixing food and I, I have like this mental stigma that Oh my god the toxins are gonna get in the food or something like that and you know i don't know it's just a mental block that i do have so i personally don't put on my right hand i only put on my left so we're gonna get started so today i'm gonna kind of do the ombre i really wanted to do flowers but then i realized i didn't have white so i'm just gonna go with ombre 
and I was debating between orange and pink or orange and blue. I decided to go with orange and blue. So let me just roll the nail polishes. So you're not supposed to shake them apparently um, because they get bubbles and I have made that mistake uh, when I first started out with you know nail painting and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> there were a lot of bubbles in the coats that I put so then I was like I googled like why why do I have bubbles in my nail polish am I not buying the right brand and then they said well you shouldn't be shaking vigorously like that and I was like oops I did okay anyway so let's just that looks pretty well shaken I guess and then this one I really love these colors just as is as well um, sometimes I put blue and then the accent nail I'll put the orange and it looks so beautiful so guys we're gonna stick with two colors today I did think of doing three but you know my nails are so small guys it really doesn't fit but if you want with this combination if you go for a dark purple it will actually look really nice so it'll be like a three thing and you can choose different colors guys you can go with um, pink orange blue there are so many different ways that you can go about this. So I'm just going to do orange and blue and it's going to look nice. I've done it before, uh, but way back. This was like two years ago. So we're going to take one of these, I guess like they're makeup blenders, but they work really well for your nails as well. And I think I got like a set of 10, I guess. I think you can get it at your local drugstore or you can get it at... I think this I got it at Health & Glow if I'm not wrong. Well, you can get it anywhere guys, any local drugstore and they, they will have this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, hold on, let me just get a little bit more of this. Okay, now we are all set. Alright, let me just, okay. Now for the moment that you guys are waiting for, and that is my story. So my first boyfriend, okay. <laughs> so um, <laughs> just to put it out there, um, this guy and I, uh, we met when I was eight years old, okay? And so I had just transferred schools at that point and I was the new student in this school and we were made to sit according to our rule numbers, okay? And he had a letter that was after mine, so after P, okay? So if it was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15, which was probably me, and then he was, uh, I think, 22, okay? So let's just for you know the sake of this video let's just call him and um v i guess okay we'll, we'll we'll name him v even though that is not his letter and the reason why i am not uh going to put that letter out there is because we are facebook friends right now and yeah well you know we haven't spoken in like three years and it would be pretty awkward uh, to just randomly bring this up and it would be pretty easy for you guys to find out who i'm talking about so i'm just gonna put it as what, what was the letter i decided v right okay v okay so we're gonna call him v for now okay so i'm here and he's right beside me and as usual i was so into my world and i didn't really care about people around me i just had my bunch of girls who were my best friends and that was it okay pause on the story but let me tell you guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a little bit of nail paint and so if you want the orange on top you're gonna put it on top if you want the blue on top you're gonna put it on top now i personally want the orange on top and the blue below you can do whatever you want guys no thing so i'm just gonna draw a line okay and it's gonna take a little bit of your stuff okay so just put it there and then i'm gonna get this as well okay it looks like okay it looks like this okay so you're not gonna overlap too much um i don't know if you guys can see but that's that's all i've put because my nails are small guys if your nails are longer you you might want to put longer like bigger i guess i would say okay so i'm just gonna put this these two and then I'm just gonna put the orange again because it just dried up because i was talking and then i'm just gonna put the blue again on top of it just to 
a little bit. Okay. And then it's going to look something like this. What you're going to do is from one side of your nail, it's going to come out. It's okay. We're going to wipe that out after. But from one side, you're just going to flip it over your nail. And it sort of should come like this. We're going to do another coat. But don't worry, we're going to do probably two or three coats. So it sort of comes like this. Okay? I don't know if you guys can see, but I will show you the finished piece once we're done with it. So I didn't get a bit of the bottom, so I'm just going to keep doing it till, you know, it comes. You have to do it a few times, guys. That's the kind of thing with this. So it sort of comes like this, and we're going to do two more coats later after it dries, but it sort of should look like this. You can leave it like this. It's just a light colored. I prefer it a little darker, so I'm going to go a little bit darker, but it's going to come on the sides. Don't worry about it, okay? So I'm just going to keep doing that to all the nails, and I'm just going to keep talking, okay? So we called this guy V, right? I keep forgetting, guys. This is why I, I really am terrible at lying. This is why I don't lie, because I always forget my lies, and that always puts me in trouble, so as, <laughs> as much as possible, I try not to lie, because I'll forget. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I don't lie because um, I'm gonna forget and not because it's ethically wrong. Wow, okay. Probably should not be putting that out there. Okay, anyway, so he was sitting beside me and, you know, I honestly didn't care for him when I first uh, met him, to be honest with you. I was just minding my own business and, you know, he was just some guy who was beside me and stuff like that. So let me just kind of tell you a little bit about V, okay? We were eight years old at that point, and I mean, you would think, I mean, at eight years old, you're probably in that mindset that, ew, boys are just like, ew, I don't care for them and stuff like that, but this guy, he was different. He was really, really different. I mean, first off, okay, he had really, really good handwriting, and for me, that was a bit of a shock because, well... I don't know if you guys know this, but not a lot of eight-year-old boys have really good handwriting or even care that their handwriting should look good, okay? There might be exceptions to that rule, but this guy was just really, really good. So I, I kind of like fangirled over his, his handwriting, and this guy was so sweet. Like, I was the new student, and he, he did all he could to make me feel very comfortable, and, uh, you know, he was joking all the time with me, and this guy... He was an Asian, really cute. Um, and then at one point he did cut his hair really short and that was so cute, guys, so cute. So for an eight year old girl, I feel like <laughs> he kind of ticked off all my criteria for what I would think as the perfect guy for me. And you know, over time, because we would sit together, we actually started talking a lot more and, uh, you know, getting to know each other. I got to know about his home. Um, he got to know about my home, my parents. I started talking to him about, you know, we started making jokes, like we had our own jokes. And uh, if it was like PE, like physical education class, he would always pick me to be his partner. And it was just such a really nice time that both of us had and I guess it's pretty obvious from the way I'm talking now that I have always been a hopeless romantic, okay? Uh, <laughs> it is just in my nature and you know just everything seemed perfect with him and I, okay? And we were kids guys and you know at that age I guess it's easy to get swept up in the romance, probably any age for me, but you know. <laughs> and I could sense that, you know, he also liked me and I liked him as well. So we basically both had a crush on each other. We would send chits to each other in class and it was a very cute love story that was brewing. And you know, when the teacher was teaching, we would send chits to each other. And of course he had the most beautiful handwriting. So I was, double floored by his notes and stuff like that and we keep making each other laugh if i didn't bring my pencil to school he would lend it to me he would be like my knight in shining armor okay whatever it was he was kind of there and we were eight guys <laughs> i can't stress this enough we were eight years old and um so one day okay uh we decide okay pause 
Uh, I'm actually done with one coat. This is how one coat looks. I don't know if you guys can see and I can't bend anymore, but this is how one coat actually looks. Okay, wait, I'm not showing it properly. Yeah, so I'm gonna do one more coat and then I'm gonna remove the outside and then we're gonna put a clear nail coat over it as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop using this side and I'm gonna move over to another side just because it depends on the quality of the um, whatever makeup blender that you buy, but sometimes it starts coming out. So I generally prefer to start using another side or even the bottom part of it, whatever you choose. Okay, so I'm gonna use this side. Okay, for the second coat. Okay, so where were we? So yes, guys, so we were having our own moments and, you know, laughing at each other. So, you know, we were best friends and, I mean, we both knew that we both liked each other and stuff like that. And we were sending chits to each other. We were doing basically all the couple things that any eight-year-old would do at that point. And then this guy, one day after I think three months of things going like this and you know our feelings kind of developing for each other and stuff like that and us having crushes on each other he sends me a note in class and that it says you're my girlfriend and guys he had your in the perfect grammatical way that I absolutely love Grammar is really important to me, guys. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so that's what he said. And, you know, I obviously was like, ah, I have a boyfriend and, you know, whatnot and stuff like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually turning red right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but, you know, I'm okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it was really cute, guys. Honestly, I, I look back on it and, you know, it's such fond memories that I have. <laughs> of me growing up so he was my first boyfriend of sorts and that like after he said that note i went home and i was like oh my god oh my god i have a boyfriend wow can you imagine i have a boyfriend you know all those normal girly stuff that every girl says when she gets a note uh that says <laughs> she has a boyfriend and you know i hid it carefully in my bag because well you know growing up my parents were obviously strict and uh you know i was eight guys <laughs> the last thing that any indian parent would want to know for is that their eight-year-old kid has a, a girlfriend or boyfriend so i was like hiding the note in my backpack and stuff like that and i was like very careful so that no one would you know open my bag i put it in a secret locker that i did have in my backpack and uh you know it was so exciting and then guys after 24 hours of me with a boyfriend, we just never spoke after that. I don't know what it was. I think both of us were really embarrassed or I don't know. We just never spoke until, um, you know, a year or two years later where we had the same project and then we spoke and stuff like that. But we just never spoke to each other after that note. So. I don't know, technically I got ghosted after, you know, having a boyfriend for 24 hours and I don't recall being upset about this to be very honest with you because I think that I too was really, like I didn't know what to do, like okay, yeah, you are my boyfriend, now what? Like, hello, um, stuff like that and um, I didn't pursue it and neither did he. Hold on, my battery's dying, give me a second. I have no idea how I'm gonna change the battery with my nails like this, but we're gonna try, guys. We're gonna try. <laughs> okay, guys, I managed to change the battery and that's all set now. Okay, so where was I? Yes, we just never spoke to each other after that day. So basically, he was my first boyfriend of one day. Yep. And yeah, like I said, I don't recall being upset by it or something like that because I think I too was very nervous and probably confused about what was happening uh, and you know, I just didn't know how to process it and stuff like that. And then we did get back to talking terms about a year and a half later when I had a project with him and then a couple of years later I had to leave Singapore. By the way guys, this was in Singapore, I don't know if I made that clear but yes. So and yeah that's basically it and after i came back here after i got a facebook account 
a couple of years later, I did send him a friend request and then he accepted it and then we spoke and yeah, we we are Facebook friends, but um, you know, neither of us ever spoke about what happened or whatnot. So yeah, I mean, we, for all you know, he probably still thinks we're dating. 20 years. Yeah. V, you know, you know your name. Uh, if you're watching this, where are you at? Like, where have you been? It's been 20 years, you know. I ain't no seeing no ring over here. Wait, that was a little too complicated. I ain't no seeing no ring. So the no no gets canceled. I ain't seeing a ring, which is yeah, yeah, that, that's basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> so that is my story, you guys. Now let me show you my nails. And <laughs> it's, it's a really cute story. I mean, I really like this story. I told my mom a couple of years later and she was like, first off, she was a little scandalized that I had a boyfriend at the age of eight. But you know, it's a cute story. It's a funny story. And yeah, I guess it's pretty sweet for me to, you know, remember this from time to time. And, like that so I had my first boyfriend when I was eight years old um, I think that's a flex of some sort isn't it <laughs> yeah okay uh, <laughs> so now let's talk about my nails I like how they're looking though I think a bit of the sponge kind of came onto my nails but we can get that removed don't worry okay so this is how it's looking right now okay it it probably doesn't look nice because of the stuff coming out of my nails which I'm gonna clean right now and then I'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna look after okay so this is how it looks now I think it looks good because I know how it will look after um, but you might not feel that way I guess okay so let's just take a little bit of cotton and then I think a bit went into my mouth okay whatever okay so we've got this I think I'm just gonna speed up this process guys um, because I think the video is running a little too long so let me just close all these because we don't need them anymore and then okay so I'm just gonna quickly remove the sides and then I'll fast forward this so I'm not gonna talk anything but you know you guys will make up Okay guys, it looks like I'm all set with my nail paint today. Okay, um, I will show you guys an up close version of it in just a second. But thank you guys so much for watching all the way up until here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. I upload weekly vlogs as well. And if you guys have any video suggestions, you guys have any vlogs that you want me to do, definitely do put them in the comment box and I will definitely take them into consideration as well. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. I will leave you guys with a few pictures of my nails, how they look, and I like how they're looking right now. To be honest with you, I, I kind of put a thicker coat of this when I shouldn't have. So one of my nails is looking a little bit more white than I would like it to. And then that's when I came with this and I kind of corrected it. But, you know, it, it does look good. I mean, it does look good. So, you know, there's a little bit on the bottom and on the side and I can't really get those out. Uh, just that, you know, I risk ruining the whole nails. So what I do is that I actually just wash my hands after an hour or two and those actually just come out so i'm going to show you a picture right now of how my nails look and then a picture after i wash my nails about an hour later and you can see that all the extra stuff is gone completely gone so you don't have to worry about it because sometimes when you do use the sponge to kind of get it out or the cotton to get it out you risk ruining that entire ombre thing that you've got going on so yeah, that's basically it guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way up until here. Thank you guys for voting as well. I mean, you guys asked for this video. You guys requested for this video. So that was actually really nice that I got such a phenomenal response for that as well. Okay guys, I'm going to, I don't know, probably clear this up and then get back to the rest of my day. So thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.